All right, hi everybody. So um, this time we're actually going to look into uh, seismic retrofitting a uh, your home, and we're actually uh, filming uh, today uh, in the uh, basement area of my house. So this is where I actually uh, had done this project. Um, I was basically the architect, um, contractor, and owner. So um, you know that kind of uh, expedited the process, but. Um, I went through a program called Earthquake Brace and Boat that's um, funded by California. It's a program where if you qualify, uh, they give up to $3,000 um, for you, uh, free money basically, so that you can apply that towards the work. Um, you know, obviously you, you could hire a contractor and whatnot, um, but I decided to do the work myself. So um, this uh, video is going to be broken up into like two parts. Um, first part is going to be taking you uh, to uh, the uh, inspections um, and then the second part of the video would basically be uh, after inspections then I get to close up the walls and apply with the, the walls and whatnot. Um, so you can kind of see I added um, shelving units um, afterwards as well. So uh, I think it'll be an interesting project. So um, Hopefully you guys will uh, get some information out of it and have a little fun too. All right, here I'm showing some of the existing um, stud bays that's below our uh, first floor. And you can kind of see that there's not much lateral uh, stability. So the whole project is basically to plywood it, secure it to the foundation and we're expecting our shipment of supplies. Um, in this case, I went with Home Depot. I went ahead and volunteered a couple of nephews here to help me um, bring in the sheets of plywood. Here I created a blocking nail uh, template for the securing the plywood uh, later on. And I am drilling down for the additional anchor bolts um, that was added onto this project. It's a five inch bolt, so you're actually uh, drilling almost eight inches um, because of the thickness of the, the sill plates. And uh, air tools basically is the only way that you can actually accomplish this. Um, you know, some areas required uh, some hold downs with epoxy. Here we have the inspector signing off on the bolt insulation. And that's a good thing. Okay, so that basically kind of finishes up part one, um, which takes us, what took us up to um, bolt inspection. So then, uh, you know, they need to see the bolts before we close up the walls, basically, is what's, um, what's going on. And then in part two is when we get to, uh, get to um, put up the plywood and cover things up and then bring it... Um, bring it to a more completion so if you want to check out part two you gotta like hit that subscribe button down there on the lower right hand side um, because if you find it's kind of useful then um, I think the second part is gonna be kind of fun too so I will see you in uh, part two thanks